So hello, everyone. I'm Josh Gatewood. I'm Kevin Vanover. Welcome back to our Intune Barbershop. So today, what do we got on the docket today, Kevin? We're going to talk about Cloud PKI. I can't wait to see what you've got in store for us. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and start presenting. Uh, All right, let's check Cloud it out. P yeah, I might start presenting. Now. Yeah. <laughs> PowerPoint Live. Uh, there it is. All right, Intune Cloud PKI, right? So this is the ability to like have our search uh, directly from the cloud. So the um, this this new Intune suite add-on, I'm definitely excited about because certificate management is probably the hardest thing that we do in Intune, uh, even harder than like autopilot, hybrid join, off domain, right? Um, and part of that's because of the search that's needed for like the line of sight. So with the uh, Cloud PKI, uh, it allows, you know, the certificate management, and it is a cloud-based solution. So uh, with it being in the cloud, there isn't like the underlying pieces that you have to worry about for setting up for that. Um, and so we've got certificate life cycles. We can revoke certs. Uh, and we've got like that modern security infrastructure that's already pre-baked in. So you don't have to worry about like the updating the CA policies and stuff like that. So with the challenges of on-prem cert authority, I know Kevin, you've uh, you've ran into that too, huh? Absolutely. In Cloud PKI, you can pretty much stand up that topology, you know, within a half hour to an hour, uh, if you really had to stop and think and do some reading along the way. You know, if you've ever set it up on premises, you've got several servers you've got to stand up. You got to have a certificate authority, and then once you get all that stood up, you're probably going to realize you made, you know, two three mistakes, and you're going to have to tear it all down. And inevitably, it's going to happen if you've ever tried. I guarantee you that it won't work the first time. Um, unless you're like a Nathan McNulty kind of guy. But nonetheless, you know, it's still it's still very challenging to stand up that on-premises topology. And once you get it stood up, yes, you, it's there and it works, but now you've got to maintain it. You're responsible for supporting that backend infrastructure for the life cycle of that CA authority uh, and for that SCEP and INDES uh, protocol that's going to be out there, the network, you know, that the, everything that's associated with it. So it is something that, you know, Microsoft made this available and everybody's like, yeah, you know, because it's, it's so easy to 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 stand up and then maintain over time. So I'm super, super excited to see how this works out for everyone. Yeah, no, definitely. That's this is one of the ones when the Intune suite was announced that I was like, this is, you know, stuff that like I wake up in the middle of the night with my eye twitching. <laughs> right. Because it's about certs. So uh, there's definitely like a lot of benefits. And one of the biggest ones is the on prem infrastructure. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, so other other benefits like scalability. Uh, I think that the only time I use the word scalability is when I'm talking about being able to ramp up something with with software, but security is in everything. So it is also secure because uh, that's what we want. And then the ease of use, the administrative overhead on this compared to having like the on-prem, you know, root CA, issuing CA, skip server, indes server, uh, and all of that, right? It's it just uh, collapses that entire footprint. Right, so I mean, it's easy to use. You can manage your certs. You can check out the process. You can uh, reduce the errors. It's secure, right? So this is also something that um, HIPAA, GDPR, right? I mean, that's some yeah, absolutely. pretty important stuff, right? Because if you're getting your certs onto the device, whether it's for a VPN profile, Wi-Fi profile, or even like a device-based cert, um, that's where uh, this is this is eligible for to meet those security requirements. And scalable, right? So this is this is the word that I don't you use. Use it like, twice in one. Yeah, used it, <laughs> used it twice. Uh, I will probably not use it for until like another like call, right? So it's not something yeah, I'm like, perhaps. you know, talking with my friends, you know, in the barber shop, be like, how scalable is this haircut, right? Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's why that's why I like uh, you know some of those industry terms like that, right? All right, so we're gonna talk about the features, right? Those are cert templates or profiles. The cert revocation, so that's a uh, that's huge too because uh, current like to to revoke a cert like there's almost currently it's a uh, it's kind of hard to do it's a little bit clunky so that that's something that's available and also you can integrate it with the uh, you know Intune services so that you can kind of have like that that single pane of glass another one of those industry terms right yes. um, to, to allow for that to happen. Cool. All right. So we got our cert templates, right? So, uh, and and then also our policies. So uh, this is where you can just leverage Intune to have this. So once the cloud PKI is set up, uh, same way that you go through and you select your trusted certs or same way you go through and select the templates, it will just offload and this will be like uh, one that is available for you. 
so you can get that certificate of achievement for getting your cert. Uh, the different profiles, so uh, you can have like the custom enrollment profiles, you can have like authentication key usage, uh, and we'll, we'll look into that in just a few seconds. Not trying to do like, you know, all the PowerPoints, we're actually gonna do a little demo. So uh, stick with us awesome. just a little bit longer. And then uh, username, password, biometrics, um, different keys, uh, options as well. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the key options uh, for like like IPsec tunnels. Uh, so if you're setting up like Microsoft SSE, you need to search for that. That'd be something cool. Uh, we touched on getting the revocation. So no more, your search denied, right? So this is like a rogue device. We don't need this anymore. We're gonna take it away. So that's baked in uh, and uh, integrate with Intune. I guess like Intune Cloud PKI, you kind of hope it's integrated with Intune. Um, Presumes, so, yes. Yeah, so glad it is. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, so understanding root CAs and issuing CAs, right? So certificates that's a very are- That's important process. Yeah, um, I think that uh, sometimes I still gotta like reread this and relearn it, right? Cause certs are just, it's like gotta be like this, 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 and this, right? There's no deviation. And if anything's broken in the chain, the whole chain just comes apart, right? So uh, with like your root CA, so that's kind of like the, uh, almost kind of like thinking of like your active directory, like top level domain and the issuing CAs be like OUs a little bit. Uh, so very similar uh, like topology to that, right? So uh, the roots at the top and then the issuing can happen uh, after that. Um, so issuing CAs will actually give the certs out to the different endpoints uh, based upon the need of that cert. Uh, and they kind of like work together in order to uh, happen, right? So you can't have like a user in the forest unless they're in an OU, right? So mm -hmm. you, you have the root CA and then the issuing CA will actually um, send out the cert. All right. Demo time. Demo time. Right. Demo time. All right. Let me. Uh, We'll go ahead and then, uh, stop presenting. Uh, should have listened to you, Kevin, and just presented the full screen, but uh, uh, I didn't want to have to close my 95 browser tabs. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when people see my browser, they're like, do you ever close a window? And I'm like, well, you know, I read this, and I wanted to make sure I got back to it when I had time, and then the day goes by, and the next thing is the week. <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've started to do Mondays as my browser closing days. And then but like Monday <laughs> afternoon, I'm like, where's all my stuff? And then I got to open it uh, up. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll get OneNote out and I'll just start, you know, copying URLs and putting in my OneNote so I can go back to it later. Yeah. Yeah. OneNote's like my ether, <laughs> right? So um, this is where, <laughs> right? Like you can take away Outlook, you can take away Teams, just, just leave me with OneNote and I'll be able to function. Um, yeah. So, yeah. All and, right. And so then, what do we got here? All right, so what we got? We got we got a uh, no cloud PKI, right? So there's none in this uh, demo tenant tenant that I'm sharing, right? So uh, in order for this to light up, it is an Intune add-on license, right? So you can get it for two dollars per user per month, or it can be part of the Microsoft Intune plan where you can get, you know, not just the cloud PKI, but the app management, advanced analytics, EPM, remote help. Uh, and uh, feel free to check out our other videos uh, about those different features. All right, so what we're gonna do, we talked Intune about suite. how easy, Intune Suite, and this is one of the sweetest parts of it. All right, so we're just gonna call this Patriot Test. Um, and then you can add a description if you want. Uh, I, I tell a lot of clients that I work with, you can use the description field to put like a, uh, almost like a change log. Mm -hmm. Created by Josh. That way like future years, like who made this? Right. Um, yeah. So with the CA type, we got root CA and issuing CA, right? So we're gonna do a root CA at first. And then when you have the root CA, you get the validity periods. So you can do like five years, 25 years, depending on like your cert needs. Um, and yeah. then uh, here's where like the- uh, Does it make uses? sense to just do 25 years so you don't have to mess with it anymore for a while? Yeah, I- uh, or, or do you really feel like it's something you got to align with the use case of the certificate so that it just doesn't sit out there forever? I think a lot of people, you know, sort of hem haul about, you know, how do we do this? Yeah, no, I, uh, 25 years, right? Like, uh, is this even going to be, is certs going to be the same way, right? Um, yeah, that's a very good point, yeah. But I guess for 25 years, root CAs, like I don't think there's been much development, honestly. And and uh, <laughs> uh, it's like how the root CAs actually function. I know like the certificate types and the encryption on the certs have changed, right? So yeah. uh, I, I wouldn't put it to 25 years uh, unless that's okay. like a requirement. Um, Absolutely. But, yeah, no, it's perfect. Yeah. Five years uh, it is. 
five years it is, right? Um, but this is kind of like, well, what are we going to be using it for? Client off, server off, like these IPsec tunnels. Uh, so going through it, I was like, I can see where this can be extremely valuable uh, as we add, starting adding like the network piece to it. Uh, you can do a custom one if you want, uh, and then you have to set up like your own uh, identifier. So like no server build, we just select what we want and then yeah. click next, right? So we're gonna I really have a theory off. on this though. I think that you should probably, you know, if you were building out your root CA, because root CAs, um, you can't delete them right now. Yeah. Um, you can come in in the UI and you can try, but it, it sort of goes away, but it's not really deleted. Even if you go into the PowerShell sessions and you find it, 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 it will still be there. Um, <clears throat> My guidance, if I were, you know, you know, working with a client on this, is I would tell them just select it all, because then you, your issuing CAs can then pick, you know, those services that you want in the issuing CA. But in your root, you would have the ability to capture all of those things. So that's what I would do. Uh, you don't have to, but you never know if something's going to come up and you want to use that root CA for that, right? Yeah. So to me, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and grab everything you think you might do with that root CA. And then you can, you know, segment it out with your issuing CAs. No, that's a fantastic point. Because uh, you, you did, it was like, you can't delete these right now. So, mm -hmm. um, and and there is a limit. I think you can only have like 10 currently too. Yeah, I think it's um, 10 or 15 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's also, it's like, do I need 10 root CAs? But Probably uh, not, when we're but... going, yeah, we'll, we'll probably end up with 10 just going through <laughs> demos like this, right? Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like... Uh, uh, issuing type, you get them all for this one, right? So that's a good exactly. call out. Uh, and then uh, the only thing else that the common name, so we're just going to call this Patriot, Patriot test. And then if you needed like the OU, the organization, the country, you know, what are, what's the information that you need for like your your certificate uh, certificate data? And then the yeah. key size. No, that's actually required. It's just that you might want to use that metadata in, you know, so go ahead and put it in there. Yeah, so organization, to. it's going to be, you know, here's my domain. OU is going to be like OU equals autopilot. <laughs> oh, man. DC equals, oh, oh, no common, comma. All right, we'll just do that. Yeah, that's and fine. Then maybe country, do the country and you're fine. Yeah. United States, maybe. There you go. Oh, maybe. What was it, UN. USA? <laughs> USA. <laughs> U.S. locality, and we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Would say it's go. sunny, but it's actually raining. And then you can do your um, key size. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll go 512. All right. And then next, so scope tags. So scope tags is definitely useful if you've got like some geolocation offices. So like Kevin, uh, if I wanted to be like, you know, I'm gonna ship you this device and Kevin's in California and I'm in Florida, right? We can have like Kevin manage the Florida devices and I manage the California mm -hmm. devices. Uh, that's yes. where those come into play. All right, and then we're just gonna create. Whoa, ha, ha, all the things, oh. click all the buttons. All right, so successfully created um standing up a root ca previously at other orgs uh i wouldn't have been able to do it in like just what was that like four or five minutes and yeah five minutes two, at most and yeah that was just and, because we were commenting back and forth yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so i mean like that's enough to bring a tear to my eye right uh so that's oh. that's really cool uh there's also a, another huge um Look at my, I was blocking ESPN, testing the SSE stuff, Patriot 2, right? Uh, is you can mm -hmm. actually bring your own CA, all right? So making yes. it like an issuing CA. So this is mm -hmm. where like your on-prem topology, this is kind of like where, you know, me and Kevin have had like, uh, this is the things that we see in our nightmares, right? About certs uh, because <laughs> of the Indes and Skep and the yes. on-prem topology, right? So you can bring your own CA, uh, to allow for this to happen. So this can actually be part of the issuing process. Um, yes. So uh, the a private CA is required for this to sign the CSR uh, file that gets downloaded. Uh, and then that signing CA can be actually a root CA or an issuing CA, which is kind of cool. Um, this has got to be like any tier of that private CA. Um, I don't have one set up to finish this, but uh, uh, this is where where that's that comes into play so this that's is awesome. 
this is the this is the piece, right? So the CA that we set up that can issue everything. So that part is for um, you know actually giving out different certs uh, based upon the keys that we need, and then we would have like that cert be you know put into whatever it may be. Uh, whereas like bring your own CA, you can use like your existing CA. And through that CSR, it'll uh, connect back and you can get like your on-prem certs to come to your VPN, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice. So, yeah. So that's uh, so we got on how, how to build that. What about the issuing CA part uh, from our route that we just created? So if we wanted to create an issuing CA, um, that's part of that that uh, that trail, if you were if you were you're referring to. Yep. Yeah. So we can create the issuing CA and then uh, CA source. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, it's already there. Yeah, that's amazing. Right. I mean, that fast. Yep. And then the and validity then, then period for this is different. Your validity period. And then I think from there you can do your uh, key usage. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So uh, root CA issuing CA. Let's uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this one out. So we're going to do issuing one organization, Josh. Oh, what did I put here? I think you did joshgatewood.com or something in your organization. And that was like, yeah, there you go. Nice. There it is. And that's how fast you do it. Da, da, da. There we go. Hope I didn't mess that up with a different common name. All right, so we can't delete it. We kind of talked about that. Uh, this is where you can like view the certs and basic things that we can edit is this. All right, so the first page is the only thing that we can really edit. Yeah, in the properties though, that's where you you know you can see those skep URLs and whatnot. So if you wanted to stand up, you know, uh, a Wi-Fi and you had radius, um, you can that's the information you would use to build out that topology. Um, so you can see that it's all there. And we did this in a you know a 15 to 20 minute session so far. Um, so that's pretty amazing. That's how fast and how you know efficient this process is compared to building an on-premises topology just to do this part. Let's go ahead and see if we can open up this file. Hey. It's pretty good stuff, man. Come on, thumbprints. All right, let's go to the root. Do the same thing. Download the cert. We're going to keep it. All right, and then I can just go in here and make that be a trusted cert. This is awesome. Or what's in my downloads for the YouTube? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, I can add all devices. Uh, so, because Intune's that's all about what you scope it to. And mm -hmm. uh, you can have my root CA is trusted cert. I can have the issuing CA. Um, man, that's. That's so easy. Yeah, fantastic stuff. All right, what do we got next? Yeah, no, so um, I, I think that's what we got for today's session. Uh, so yeah. uh, make sure, uh, you know, leave us a comment and just tell us about like uh, like certificate management or like anything that you um, have like run across using like the cloud PKI because uh, uh, this is kind of newer. So it is definitely also exciting as we like change that uh, just management plane. So going more cloud based with our certs because uh, I can see where this could actually be used and, you know, things uh you know all all throughout because i was able to download that cert so where else can i put it you know can i put it in my my networking device also so this is this is kind of cool absolutely nice. man. thank you nice job Mark on. awesome all right well thanks kevin thanks everyone for viewing and uh we'll get back at you on the next one